Guys, I am super excited because Instagram have brought out some amazing new features that you have to know. Now there are an endless amount of face filters, pre-made story templates, and a whole bunch of other epic features all within the Instagram app that'll make your stories go boom! Also, stay until the end so I can show you guys one of my favorite features, but let's get into it. All right, so first up, create mode, guys. It's one of the newest Instagram story features. And if you head on over to Instagram stories, you'll see right over there, create mode. And this is basically a mode where you can create stories without having to start with a picture or a video. They have different templates, polls, questions, countdowns, and even quizzes that you can just quickly add to your stories without any hassle. So here's a quick example of me using the GIF mode. I simply search a GIF that I'm looking for, so I typed in funny. And then as you can see, a bunch of cool options come up. Select the one that you want to use, so I thought this one was hilarious. And then on top of that, you can of course add text or some other stickers, emojis, you name it. And just like that, you've got a really fun story. Then this is the template mode and Instagram have made a whole bunch of pre-made templates about picking your top favorite songs or woke up like this, as you can see. And they are so awesome to make quick, fun and engaging stories. You'll also see this little dice icon at the top of the page. And if you click on that, it'll randomly select a template for you. And then if you click this button towards the bottom right, it'll change the background color. So you've just got to go through them until you find the one that you like. Archives mode is also really cool because it randomly selects one of your old Instagram stories as a memory for you to post. How cool! So there are so many fun things and stories you can create within this new create mode. So definitely check it out on your Instagram. By now, you may have seen, based on the people you follow, some epic face filters on Instagram stories, but you may not be quite sure on how to get them yourself. So if you head on over to Instagram stories, of course you have these pre-made ones already. But if you click on the little title icon right at the bottom, over here you will see browse effects. If you click on that, it'll open up an entire catalog of amazing face filters that other people have made and uploaded to Instagram. There are so many different ones to choose from, so scroll through them, check them out, and then if you find one you like, you simply hit that try it button and then just like that, you can try it out. It is so amazing. And let's say you actually like this filter and you wanna now keep it. All you do once again is you click on that little title button right at the bottom and then you'll actually see the option that says save effect. And if you click on that, it'll save this filter to one of your favorites and then you can quickly access it in future. What's also really nice is a lot of the filters have been placed into categories. So if you look under the funny category, you will find some really hilarious face filters just like this one which you can use to make some seriously funny content and then like I said once you've saved these filters they're really quick and easily accessed right at the bottom just by swiping left and toggling through them so whether you want something super futuristic maybe a bit glamorous or just really out there they've definitely got something for you and these can be used to really help make your story stand out from others and oftentimes when I use these filters I get asked where are those from Finally, we have dark mode on Instagram stories and it's actually really quick and easy to toggle on. So this is what it usually looks like when scrolling through Instagram. But if you go to your control center on iPhone, simply toggle on dark mode and then just like that, your entire Instagram feed and layout will all be in this dark mode. So of course, this mode is super useful for when you're scrolling through the gram at night and you're busy checking out your buddies because you can't get to sleep and all that jazz. <laughs> you can also quick and easily toggle it on within Android just by swiping down on the notification panel. If you pop on night mode just like that, your entire Instagram will go from light to dark and then you can scroll for days without having any issues with the light or your eyes. Ah, now this is a really nifty one, especially for those who are super anal about how their feed looks. So let's just say you've got a post there that you don't want anymore within your feed because it just doesn't gel well. Well, instead of deleting the post, you can actually archive it. And what that does is it actually removes the post from your feed. So if you go back to your Instagram profile, you will see the post is no longer there. But what's really cool is if you change your mind, you can just click this icon in the top right hand corner, head on over to archive, and then in there you will see your story archives. But if you click on that little down arrow, you will see post archives. 
and right over there is where you have archived these posts so that you have not deleted them but you have just hidden them. So you can reactivate them by saying show on profile and then just like that it will appear on your feed once again the bam right where you left it the first time. Now that is super nifty. Now I will admit this one has been around for quite a while now but it's something that not very many people know about. So if you head on over to a post of yours and you want to see if anyone has shared it, you click on those three buttons and then right over there you see view story reshares. So then what this will show you is not only how many people have shared your post but also who exactly has shared it. So this is really really cool and if a post has not been shared like this one for example, if you click on those three dots you will see there is no option to see story reshares. So you'll only see that if people have actually shared your post. Up until now you have only ever been able to post to Instagram using your mobile device but now if you head on over to Facebook Creator Studio and you click on this Instagram icon you can actually post from your desktop computer right to your Instagram. So you click on this icon that says create post then you're going to create a post for your Instagram feed. You can also do it for IGTV if you want which is really cool and then over here is where you create your post. So you add content, I'm just picking this picture from my desktop. You write in your caption over here and you can still tag people, you can still add in hashtags, everything like you would on mobile, as well as even tag the picture just like you see over here. And then not only can you publish it, but you can actually schedule your post, which is so insane and this is seriously nifty guys. So for anyone who has ever wanted to post or schedule posts from their desktop, especially for like brands or marketing teams, this is especially useful. And I myself now use this all the time and once you've scheduled posts, you can see them all in this list view for the month or week ahead. Then on to another new feature from Instagram that I think is absolutely awesome and that is alt text which is used for people with visual difficulties. So let's just say for example you're busy creating a post just as you normally would tagging the people you would all that jazz. If you look towards the bottom it says advanced features and once in there you will see this option that says write alt text and what this is for is for you to describe exactly what is in your picture so that for someone who maybe has visual impairments or maybe uses a screen reader this will then let them know exactly what is within your picture. You don't have to populate the old text of all your posts if you don't want to. Instagram does do this automatically as well. Then on to another new and really interesting feature from Instagram, it is restricting comments. So let's just say you're busy scrolling through your comment section and you come across a comment where this person just did not get their morning cup of coffee and they probably woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Well, if you click and hold down and highlight their comments and then click on this info icon, you will see this option that says restrict and then their username. If you click on that, what will happen is you can actually restrict their account. And what that means is only you and that user will be able to see their comment on your post, no one else. The person whose comment you've also restricted will not even know that you've restricted them. In fact, no one will know other than yourself. And if you change your mind and perhaps think the comment is not that bad, you can always go back and unrestrict that person and then the comment will be able to be seen by everyone. Hmm, naughty naughty. Then on to one of my favorite features and that is story slideshows. So let's just say you were out and about for the entire day, you created a bunch of epic stories and now perhaps you want to save these and share them with a family member or friends. If you just click on that eye icon towards the bottom left, there you will see all your stories but what you can now do is click this little icon in the top right hand corner and what this will do is save all these stories into a video slideshow. So if you head on over to your photo album now or gallery, you will see a little video that Instagram saved of all these stories one after the other. And then from there, of course, as I mentioned, you can send this to your friends, you can send it to your family, send it via WhatsApp, email, you name it, but share your day stories with everyone. I think this is so cool. Let me know down in the comment section which was your favorite tip, trick or new feature. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe or you can check out some of my other Instagram videos right over here. But I will see you in the next one. Toodles!